Hi this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you how to stop Adobe background tasks from automatically launching every time you restart your Mac. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you can read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. Now I love Adobe and it's been a big part of my career. Adobe and Macromedia before that. But what can be really annoying about Adobe Creative Cloud is it has so many background apps running on your Mac. If you look in Activity Monitor you'll see all of them going. And this will be true even if you're not using any Adobe apps. In fact even if you haven't launched any Adobe apps in a while. I fall into this category. I don't use Adobe apps that often. I need them for certain things. But I can go days without using any of these apps. But all these background tasks are still going to be there and running. Now it's easy to have the Creative Cloud app not launch when you log in or restart your Mac. It's just a setting there in Creative Cloud. You just turn that off and now the app no longer launches. But that doesn't stop all these background tasks from automatically launching when you start your Mac. Now you need these to be running in order to use the apps. So if you're a frequent user of say Photoshop then none of this really matters. These probably should be running right from the get-go because you're going to be in Photoshop sooner or later and you're going to use Photoshop a lot so might as well have them going. But if you're like me and rarely use the apps, only once every few days or so, then you don't want these necessarily running every time you boot your Mac up. Now typically I like to do videos on how to do things the right way. The right place to go to change a setting to do things as it's supposed to work. In this case there is no right way because these things are going to launch because you have Adobe Creative Cloud installed and there's no way to tell them not to launch. But I still don't want them to launch. So I've done basically a hack. I've gone in and I've prevented these from launching. It turns out this hack works pretty well because if you do then go and launch Creative Cloud or you launch say Photoshop they all launch automatically and everything works fine. At least so far. And I've been doing this for years. So the trick is to go into the Main Library folder. That's the library folder at the very top level of your drive. Not your User Library folder. Look there for Launch Agents and Launch Demons. And in these folders you're going to find things that are named with Adobe in the title. I simply go through and delete all of these. Now what these are, they're not apps or anything in themselves. They're just links to apps. They're little descriptions of this app needs to be running when you start your Mac. By removing them from there they won't launch. So when you start your Mac up it's like starting it up if you don't have Creative Cloud installed. If you look then in Activity Monitor you won't see any of them there. However if you do something like say Launch Photoshop they all automatically launch. Photoshop is smart enough to say hey I need these things and trigger them all to launch. There are some downsides though to doing this. One is that things won't automatically update. So say if you don't use any Creative Cloud apps the whole day and none of this is running then you might miss out on some updates until you then launch the apps and then you get hit with the updates. That could be inconvenient. But again we're talking about if you're not using the apps all the time anyway. The other downside is that once you do launch an app like Creative Cloud or Photoshop or Illustrator or whatever then these are all going to be running. It's not easy to shut them down. You can go in and kill the processes in Activity Monitor but I don't like that. It's a very inelegant way to handle it. However for me I really like to not have these run at all until I need them. So in the long run this won't really help you because as soon as you use an Adobe app all these will be running. But at least from the latest time you restarted your Mac up until the first time you need to use one of these apps these background processes won't be running. So it's marginally useful but I get asked about this enough and I personally find a big benefit from doing this so I thought I'd share it with everyone. And I'm also frustrated by the fact that so many sites out there don't tell you about this but instead will just tell you to turn off the main Creative Cloud app and ignore all these background apps. So I hope you found this tip useful. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.